That's a cool loading screen. I like that a lot. Righto, let's get, get to it then, shall we? In order to complete this Pokedex of ours, there are a great many research tasks I'll need your help to carry out, my boy. The detail of these tasks can be found in the Pokedex for you to reference at any time. Using the zeal button, you can instantly check the research. Oh, that's awesome. So we can check our progress um, with a button with down on the D-pad uh, when we're locked on them. You must catch and battle diverse Pokemon species and carry out plenty of research tasks. Do so, and you'll gain research points and other rewards for your work. One last piece of advice, Joe. If you see a wild Pokemon's attack coming your way, dodge like your life depends on it. Because it does. Say again? Here, watch closely and remember what I do so you can do it later. Hop! <laughs> Look at that! Wow! That was quite the roll. That beautiful flowing bit of gymnastics is what we call a dodge. If you're light on your feet, you can dodge out of the way of wild Pokemon's attacks. That way, hopefully, you can avoid taking a beating and blacking out in the wilderness. The security corps had to collect me when I got uh, when I got the business end of some Shanks' thunder shock. But don't you worry, I have lots of experience um, to draw on, and I'll teach you plenty. I like how she kind of acts as like a teacher for us. Now, how do we roll? Oh, it's Y. That's so cool. Now, there's some Bidoof out here. Now, let me share some Survey Corpse wisdom. Focus on a Pokemon with ZL button, then press down on the D-pad to open the Pokedex. You'll see what task you have for that Pokemon. <gasps> Bidoof. You might have noticed that uh, you have a research task to do with uh, how many Bidoof you've caught. That's right. Catching just one isn't enough. You need two, then four, then more, and more. Dr. Seuss over here. <laughs> Man. And when it's time to battle Pokemon, remember the captain's switching wisdom. If you have items out, press X to ready your Pokemon. Give it a try if you want. I'll go on ahead. So, let's see. I can sneak, right? Wait, that's an Orenberry. That's so cool. We can just open it up. Um, different forms obtained. Number defeated. Oh, so I think forms count as like male and female too. So like if we get a male and a female version, those are both different forms, I think. I'm not sure though. Pop. How far can we throw Pokeballs? There we go. Caught. Oh, and it gives our Pokemon experience too. Oh, so we can throw them pretty far, but we've got to kind of angle it right. I think you've got it. But as a reminder, don't forget to open your Pokedex when you focus on a Pokemon to check your research tasks for it. Um, then down. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, we're going to check it for Starly next. One of your tasks, tasks is to catch Starly without being spotted, right? For that task, try catching them while hiding in some tall grass. Okay. I'll go wait for you up ahead. Come catch up once you finish some tasks. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and uh, do that. I might go ahead and just kind of cut through some of this on the YouTube video later. Because it'd be quite a long video if I were to actually go through and show all of this. When did we get a spoiled apricorn? What? But anyway, that's gonna be the whole, uh, that's gonna be what we do, basically. I forgot about that. Whoa! It just charged at us. You're gonna have to wait, Shanks, till we fight the other one. Don't use thunder shock or anything. Please. I'm also very excited. No. 
they're both involved in the fight? Can I... How? It's a 1v2! <laughs> I didn't know that's how this worked! No! I guess all we can do right now is use rollout. Um, let's go for this one first. Shinx also is not attacking, though, so I guess that's cool. They don't attack every turn. Look at all our level ups. Wow. No, it, it noticed me from that! I love how it just smacks him in the face. Oh, he's coming. <gasps> it's an alpha. It's an alpha Luxio. I think that's an alpha. Look at that thing. I'm not letting it notice me. Look at how big it is. Do we fight it? I feel like if we fight it, we'll lose. We'll try a Pokeball first. It doesn't see me, though. Okay, good. It didn't see me. Oh, jeez. Run, run, run. Whoa, swift! Wow! And... Nope! Yeah, we gotta fight it now. I'm gonna throw Oshawa at him. It's level 40! Ah! Jeez! Oh my gosh! I'm gonna throw a Pokeball for four of my remaining Pokemon. Level 40. Nope. It got one shake, though, so that's okay. It's also lowering itself with recoil from the wild charges. Wait, what if we get this? It will take a lot of recoil from this, though. It used crunch. No! That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get it to kill enough to uh, lower itself. Enough for me to get it. We could quick attack it. That'll put us a little farther ahead, and he's going to use Wild Charge because it's super effective. Oh, uh, Agile style. Whoa, that animation. I forgot we could move around, too. He used two moves. I don't know. He used Thunder Wave and then Wild Charge. What in the world? He's half health. We don't have anything better than a Pokeball, though. And a Pokeball still won't get it. I mean, we could try, but it's not going to get it. If I could have uh, used Aqua Jet with Oshawa, it would have put it lower. Uh, don't attack, maybe? Yeah, it attacked. Full on. <laughs> Well, we've got our first blackout, I guess. Oh, no, 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 no. It's after us now. <laughs> um, That's so weird. We don't black out if we're out of usable Pokemon. Whoa. So cool. Okay, we're out of here. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, um, yeah, we made those. We're going to go and run over here and talk to our friend about whatever it comes next, really. Around here, you can find a Pokemon called Buizel. It's got an aggressive disposition. That means it'll try to hit you with, a mo with its moves just like Shinx. And you'll need to battle it to catch it. I already got some of you, though. 
Um, you'll be in danger of blacking out. Um... All right, that's just the health system. And speaking of which, your research tasks for Buizel include seeing it use a certain move. To be precise, you have to uh, see it use the move in battle. That's right. Some requ some tasks require battling. Okay, that makes sense. Now I'll go ha on ahead. You take care of some Buizel's research tasks. Then come talk to me. Number cut. Large specimen defeated with electric type moves. See, look, it gets to use a move before I even do. That doesn't make sense to me. Let's look at this thunder shock. That thunder shock is beautiful. For real. And then I believe what we can do is we can use some of our orange berries. You're really doing quite well for yourself. Here, a little reward for keeping up with me. Your own crafting kit. Ooh, crafting kit. Let's see. Nice. Oh, so we can actually craft like on the go. That is awesome. And here's a recipe for potions, too. Oh, that's really good. That'll help a lot. An orinberry and medicinal leek. Oh, cool. We can actually find those all around this area. That's awesome. With a crafting kit, you can craft items anywhere using any material you have in your satchel. So as long as you've got an apricorn and a tumble stone, you can make a pokeball anytime. Or with an orinberry and a medicinal leek, you can make a potion. So do heal your Pokemon. How goes your research? The cover of your Pokedex will tell you if there are tasks you finished and can report. Alright, um, it says 37 tasks with unreported data. Um, can I just, like, click on anything? Oshawa. Or does it just tell me that? Please report back to Professor Lamington once you've got some research tasks good and done. Okay, so we don't actually report it yet. Um, we actually still have to go ahead and do all the stuff that it needs us to. It looks like we're heading up here next, so let's get on our way. Oh, okay. So, um, we just head right back to the camp, and we can actually report to him. Oh, if it isn't a crafting kit. You must have listened, um, attentively to Akari's teachings. Excellent work, dear boy. This seems a good time to explain to you about survey reports and the rewards they offer. When you submit survey reports, you'll receive money based on the level and number of Pokemon you've caught. You'll receive more money if you fulfilled certain conditions, such as catching a species for the first time. Nice. On that note, let me check the research task you completed this far. This far. Oh, cool. So that's all we've uh, caught so far. 22... Oh, that's awesome. Hey, it gives us it gives us money for doing it. Nice. Mm-hmm. I see. Most illuminating. I'll update your Pokedex with this new data. By carrying out research tasks and submitting survey reports, you'll re you'll raise the research levels of the Pokemon species you encounter. If you raise a Pokemon's entry to level ten, that entry will be considered complete, and you will have to uh, you will have unlocked all of the detailed information to be had about that species. As you carry, carry out tasks and complete the Pokedex entries for different species, you'll also gain Pokemon research points, um, which you can view on the cover of your Pokedex. Once you've earned a certain number of points, you'll be able to move up through the ranks of the Galaxy Expedition team. Nice, so we can actually become... Oh, look, they, uh, they're filled in now. Awesome. And, uh, oh, so we got the research level 10. So that is awesome. Oh, that's complete, right? Cool. Oh, and we can actually check it out. Look at that. That's so cool. Oh, look at that. Between the boy and the girl version, it has longer hair. You see that? That is so funny. Oh, look at that. Preferred foods. Can we actually feed them and stuff? That's awesome. 
Hey, there we go. Um, that should give us a new star, right? You've made good progress on these research tasks, Joe. I do believe you're ready to move up in the ranks. Let's head back to the village and report the good news to Captain Silene. It's time you earned yourself a star. Nice. Awesome. Let's head on into the office here. If you have progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. Um. Hmm, you have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. With this, you have officially attained the rank of first star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. Alright, we got our first star! Awesome! You can now use Heavy Balls. Oh, Heavy Balls! Awesome! Pokemon of up to level 20 will obey your orders. Oh, cool. Um, nice, nice. Have these as well. They are further uh, recipes you'll need for crafting. The, oh, cool. We can craft Heavy Balls now. Oh, Black Tumble Stone. Oh, awesome. And Revives. That's really good. That a stranger like you should fall from the sky and yet flourish among us like this is a testament to your native talent and hard work. Most people prefer it when things are simple enough to be judged on face value alone. Improving your worth uh, by moving up through our ranks is something anyone can understand. Keep at it, and even if you did um, fall from the sky, people may be uh, more willing to accept you. Working your way through the ranks will also be a help if you wish to make a life for yourself here. A higher rank will grant you access to more types of Pokeballs and greater rewards. Nice. For today, at least, you've earned yourself a meal at the Wallflower and a good night's rest. Awesome. So, Joy, uh, Joe, my boy, I believe a jolly good cran congratulations is in order. Well done on earning your first star rank. Potato mochi tastes so much better when you have something to be happy about. <laughs> Still, we'll be, we'll be very busy from now on between our survey core duties and requests from folks here. Which reminds me, have you already taken on that request from Beauregard? The people of Jubilife aren't too familiar with Pokemon, you see. So if problem arise, the survey core gets to call to help. Indeed so. Some people will ask for your help when you talk with them, while others' requests will need to be claimed from the backboard I keep in my lab. Speaking of which, weren't you approached with a request uh, recently, Akari? What's it all about? About that, I was thinking maybe Joe can handle it for me? I was told it would require a bit of skill with battling Pokemon, so... Why can't you just do it yourself? Come on, man. Ah, yes. That request came from Mai of the Diamond Clan, if I recall correctly. The people of the Diamond Clan have lived here in Husui since before the Galaxy Team arrived. If we could establish good relations, I'm sure there is much we might learn from them. Including more about the local Pokemon. But we can discuss all that tomorrow. For today, we should eat up and get some rest. I want to get into the action. Come on. Let's go. That was a cool noise. The next day. Listen, do you have a bit of time after this? There's something I could use your help with. All right. What would that be? Thank you. I'll be waiting for you at the training grounds then. If you've caught a lot of Pokemon, you may want to visit the pastures to change up your team. All right. I guess we're going to head that way then. We've got a fine team. Our Oshawa, Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. That's plenty good enough for this. I wonder if it'll be a battle. Thanks for coming. I know you're busy. Listen, I've had an epiphany. And that is... You see, I've got a partner of my own. We might not get along perfectly, but we've got to work together to help complete the Pokedex. You have a Pokemon? Interesting. 
Yes, here, this is my partner, Pikachu. Hey, she's got a Pikachu. When we were attacked by those Shinx, I got too scared to think straight, and I couldn't handle battling as a team. Ever since then, my partner's refused to listen to anything I tell him. Oh, no. And if I'm being honest, I'm not even sure how to order him, how to guide him in battle. Piga! But when I saw how you and your Pokemon work together, I realized we needed to do more, too. So please, have a battle with me. I want to learn how to fight effectively. Awesome! So we're going to get to fight a Pikachu with our Oshuot. Here we go! Kari sent out Pikachu. I love this. This is so cool. Look, we can actually walk around and stuff, too. Oh, wow. Okay. That was not good. That's not even fair. We just got thrown right in and instantly got smacked. What in the world? I guess if I use an item, it'll count as my turn, right? Yeah, it does. It does count as my turn. Uh, what do we do here? We could throw out one of our Bidoof. Or our Shinx. That would actually be good. <laughs> Wait, hold on. That's actually a good thought. Hold on. He says, stand in between the moves. <laughs> wow, Pikachu is hitting hard. Jeez. We could strong style quick attack or bite. Well, we can't strong style bite, but it might do more naturally. Can we check what the moves do? No, we can't. Oh, here we go. Move info. Yeah, bite. But I don't know how the strong style works. Let's try this. Let's see what happens if we stand in between the Pokemon. Oh, no! We don't want to do that! Wait, let me try. Jeez, okay, we actually don't want to do that. <laughs> That's insane. Why does he get to move twice? That doesn't make sense. They always move twice. Let's send in our Bidoof, I guess. That's so funny. It actually hurts you if you... Or, I guess you just kind of get hit if you stand in between the moves. There we go. Pikachu is done. Battle decided. You and your Pokemon seem to be completely in step with one another. There we go. We got a oh, we got a lot of levels up level ups there. Oh, move master. That makes sense. Okay, so that's when we can do the different styles, I guess. Whew, thank you for battling us. I could be wrong, but for a moment I felt like Pikachu and I finally understood one another. Let's keep working at it, okay, Pikachu? Guess I was wrong then. <laughs> but I'll strive to work more as a team with my partner, the way you do. Assuming Pikachu and I can bridge some gaps. Oh, by the way, the professor said Pokemon have things called types, which apparently make a big difference in how battles go. Pikachu seems to be an electric type, for example. That is true. The types do affect it. Oh, that's such a cool chart. Wait. That's really cool. All right, um, yeah, that chart is actually really cool. That shows all the different um, types and stuff. Um, both Pokemon and moves have types. Yep, okay, we know how that goes. Here's some examples of type matchups. That's awesome. So, flying, super effective against fighting. Um, I think that's what that means, right? Maybe for the different um, actual like parts. That's awesome. Really cool. So you're the one. That new recruit everyone's talking about. My name's Z Zisu, captain of the security corps. Oh, so she's captain. I see you've got some fight in you. Figured I'd stop by and give what advice I could. Captain Zisu is a master of an ancient martial art, one that specializes in Pokemon battles. Now listen, if your Pokemon truly mastered its moves, it can actually use them in different styles. Yes. 
On one hand, you can choose to li deliver a move in strong style. The move will deal more damage, but afterward, it'll take longer for your Pokemon to attack. Okay. That's really cool. So I wonder if it's like halves your speed next turn or something. That's interesting. On the other hand, you can choose to unleash a move in agile style. Such a move will have less power behind it, but your Pokemon can act more quickly afterward. And a truly favorable can... Condition, in truly favorable conditions and might even act out two moves before the opponent can attack. That's interesting. Strong moves, agile moves, and of course regular moves. Choose which is right for you, a given situation, which is right for a given situation, and direct your Pokemon with a little nudge. Once your Pokemon has mastered a move, you can have it... Um, yep, yeah, okay. That's what she just told us. Reduces the power of the move. Um, Agile style reduces the power of the move, raises the user's action speed, uses more PP than usual. Uh, strong style boosts the power, lowers the user's action speed, uses more PP than usual. So maybe it's like the faster Pokemon, like if, maybe it's like if their speed equals double what mine would be, they get two hits or something because they're twice as fast. I don't know that. That's interesting. Oh, one more thing. If you want to teach your Pokemon some powerful moves, just let me know. Oh, cool. Zisu's teachings uh, should serve you well when you're up against tough Pokemon. Now I suppose it's time I went to meet Mai. You remember, I mentioned at the Wallflower that I could use your help with Mai's request. Um, I'm to meet her down past the foot of Aspiration Hill. You should come as well once you've readied your Pokemon team and perhaps had them learn some new moves from Zisu if you'd like. I wonder what kind of moves she teaches. That would be awesome to see and see what else. We can get. Um, I'm gonna get Ashu already. Your Pokemon can master their moves and to, and learn new ones. Uh, hello there, Survey Core Recruit. Did you need something from me? Oh, this is cool. Oh, okay. So you need an item for it. Um, Ashua. Let's get him some new moves. What? False Swipe, right? Rock Smash, Aerial Ace. Focus, energy, and rest. So does everyone have different moves they can learn? Or... Yes, uh, I think so. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's awesome. Whoa, okay. Shinx is actually pretty good, huh? Um, let's see. Let's teach it Thunder Fang. And Fire Fang. And Ice Fang? I'll hold off on Ice Fang for now. Ooh. Oh, so it just you just buy that from them and they add it to the learnable moves for Shanks. So now I'm guessing we can go ahead and change moves. Here we go. Oh, that's cool. Boom! And we've given him Thunder Fang and Fire Fang. That's actually insanely awesome. That'll be very helpful in the future with, like, um, getting all the different kinds of moves we'll need and all that for the actual stuff. One thing I did do was I forgot to check, actually, um, if our camera's in a good spot or not. Heading outside the village, are we? Stay safe out there, kid. We're going to go over to the field lands camp. Alrighty, you guys. Unfortunately, that's all the time we got for today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you stay tuned for the next one. Um, we're going to have tons of fun in that one. And, um, yeah, keep on adventuring on in this great series. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!